Hadley, what sport are you going to start playing soon? I'm going to play soccer with my friends. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You're excited, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> and we're really excited because the U.S. women's soccer team just won something big. What did they win? The World Cup. The World Cup. Yeah, it's exciting. So what do you think we should draw today? A girl soccer player. Yeah, that's going to be fun. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need a marker or something to draw with, some paper, and... Something to call with. All right, let's get started. Okay. <laughs> we're first going to draw her eyes, and we're going to draw them towards the top of our paper so that we have room for our whole body. And we're going to draw two circles. We're going to draw them about this size. We're gonna draw them kind of small because we're drawing her whole body and we're gonna draw her really tall. There you go, one more. And then let's draw a small circle inside for the highlight or the light reflecting in her eyes to make her eyes look shiny. And then we're gonna color in the big circle but leave the little one white. What should we draw next? Her eyelashes. Her eyelashes. Let's draw three little lines or two on each side. How many are you going to draw? Oh, three. Three. I have to go down. Down and then back up? Curl up. That's a good way to draw them. Okay, now let's draw her nose in between her eyes. And then we could draw her mouth. And we're going to draw a really happy playing soccer. And I'm going to draw a U-shape underneath so that her mouth is open. Because she's so happy. There you go. And then inside we could draw an upside down you or rainbow line for her tongue. And then let's color in the top shape. Now let's draw her chin. We're gonna start over here on the left and we're gonna draw a U shape that comes down and back up on the other side. Yeah, good. And then we can draw another curve going over the top to connect the top of her head. We need to <laughs> add hair. <laughs> we're gonna start over here and I'm gonna draw an S line. It's going to connect to the outside. We're going to come down, back up, and then I'm going to curl on the outside of her head. Down, back up, and then go out. Yeah, good. And then we could, let's do that again. I'm going to draw that same line, and then I'm going to connect it on the outside. Yeah, and if we want, you could add even a couple more hairlines or texture to make her hair look really pretty. Good. And then let's draw curves on the other side over here, coming down. So there's one, and I'm gonna draw another one right above it. Now if we ever go too fast when we're drawing, what can our art friends do at home? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need more time, you can always pause the video. Okay, let's keep going. Let's draw, I mean, we're gonna draw her with long hair, kind of like you, you have long hair. Mm -hmm. And we could draw it in a ponytail. So we're gonna draw another S line. We're gonna curve up like this, down, back up, and I'm gonna do another curve right at the end. <laughs> Lots, She's like running, so the one's yeah. gonna go. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so we curve one direction, back the other way, and do it again. Yeah, now we can start up here, and we're gonna draw a little point at the top, and we're gonna come down, look at this. As I get closer to her head, I'm getting further away, so it gets thicker. Now inside of the shape, let's draw more wavy lines for the texture of her hair, like this. And you, you don't have to draw it exactly like me. You can just use your creativity to draw it your own way. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw her body. We're first gonna draw, we're gonna draw two lines. We're gonna draw one coming out to the left like this. <laughs> This is gonna be for her arm, but we're gonna also draw her body at the same time. So there we go. And then we can draw another line coming back this way. And I'm gonna draw bent coming up. So she's got one arm extended and one arm bent. It's kind of like a stick man. Kind of, yeah, but we're gonna turn it into a more 3D, <laughs> not just a stick person. <laughs> now let's draw her body. And we're gonna draw two more lines. We're gonna draw one here and one over here. This is for the sides of her body coming down. Yeah, there you go. Good, and then down here at the bottom, let's connect it. That's for the bottom of her shirt, her jersey. Okay, now let's draw our sleeves. We're gonna draw an L shape over here. We're gonna draw a line that comes down and then connects in. Letter L. Yeah, and then let's draw a backwards L over here. 
down, and then connect it. All right, we drew her shirt. Now let's finish her arms. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna start far, far away from the top line, but then as I get towards the end, I'm gonna get closer like that. This is for a wrist. Yeah. No, you, you did it, good job. Now let's do that same line over here, but this one's bent so we can come out a little further like this for elbow and then get closer at the top for a wrist. <laughs> now right here at the end, let's draw part of a circle. And that's because she has her fist, her hand is Ready closed. Ready to kick the ball, he's like, Whoa. Yeah, punch the ball. <laughs> You're not supposed to use your hands though. <laughs> Easier. Maybe she's legs. just ready to kick the ball and she's gonna swing her arm. Is that what you meant? Yeah, like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or punch the person next to her. Oh, boom. <laughs> now, right here, let's draw her thumb. We're just gonna draw a little curve right there for her thumb. Right on the end. Now, let's draw her other hand up here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw part of a circle. It comes around like that. This is just a simple way to draw a hand instead of drawing all the fingers. Now we can draw her thumb. This might be a little tricky, but watch me. I'm gonna come up, come down, and then curve back. That's so that we're drawing her thumb. We go up and then curve back. You did it. That wasn't <laughs> too tricky, right? Yeah. Good job. Now let's draw her, her legs and her shorts. We're first gonna draw a line coming out to the side like this, forward. Just draw her running and getting ready to kick. Good. And then let's draw her other leg. We're gonna draw it bent also. So we're gonna draw it coming down and then back like that. Looks like the letter V. Now let's draw her shorts. We're gonna draw an upside down V or an A shape in between those two lines. I drew it kind of small. Yeah, and then we're gonna connect the left side over to that line. And then we can draw, we can connect this side, the right side over to the other line. Good job, now let's draw her legs. We're gonna do the same thing we did on our arms. We'll start far away and then we'll connect, we'll get close to connecting down at the bottom. That's where her ankle is. Yeah, far away and then get closer at the bottom. Perfect. And then let's do the same thing over here. Oh, you made it a little longer. Just I like that. Just a little that. bit longer. Yeah, I like it. Now we can draw this leg bent. So we're gonna draw our knee first. We're gonna do a short line that comes down for her knee. Yeah, and then we're gonna come back like this to her ankle. Good, you did it. Yeah, now right here at the bottom of each leg we're gonna draw a curve to connect the two lines. That's where her leg is going into her shoe. Now let's draw those shoes. We're gonna draw a line that curves around like this and then curves back in to finish her shoe. For cleats. Yeah, her cleats, her soccer shoes. We'll do the same thing over here. I'll start on the back, curve around like this and then curve back in. Yeah, there's her foot. You wanna draw another foot over here? So I started over here on this side. Yep, curve around, go a little further, and then back in. <laughs> That's a cute little foot. Let's draw the bottom of her shoes. We're gonna draw another curve at the very bottom of each shoe. And then the pointy parts. Yeah, the cleats. There you go. And then let's draw those little points in the bottom of each shoe. So it can grip on the grass. Yeah, so you don't slip. And then I'm gonna do the same thing back here. Little spikes. Don't step on anyone's toes, that would hurt. <laughs> now let's give her socks, really tall socks. I'm gonna draw a curve over here and a curve on this line, on this leg also. Yeah, your coach gives you super long socks. Yeah. For your shins. It can cover your shin guards. Okay, then you will draw another one oh, over yeah. here also. <laughs> okay, Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our soccer player, but we're missing one important thing. What are we missing? The soccer ball. Yeah, the soccer ball. She's just gonna kick air. Yeah, it just looks like she's running. <laughs> okay, let's draw a circle right here. I'm gonna draw it about this size. 
Well, that's a big soccer ball. <laughs> there you go. Right in the middle, we're going to draw an A shape. We're going to draw a pentagon, which means it has five sides. Pentagon. Pentagon to the shape. Five sides to the shape. So we're going to draw two lines coming down, one on each side. Like a house. Yeah, it does look like a house. And then at the very bottom, connect them. Okay, now Hadley, on each of the little corners, let's draw a short line that comes out. So I'm going to go around and just draw all of them. But if you guys at home need extra time, you can pause the video. Perfect. Now, at the top of each of these lines, we're going to draw a V, which actually turns it into the letter Y. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. There's a little letter Y right there connected to our pentagon. So now let's do the same thing over here. We can turn our paper if we need to. Draw a little V or finish the Y. Or do the same thing over here. And we'll do it all the way around until we've finished our soccer ball. Now let's color in the center shape. And we can also color in the Y. Let's do one more thing, Hadley. Let's add ears to our soccer player. <laughs> I forgot to add our ears. We could draw a letter C over here on the left and a backward C on the right. Okay, Hadley, we did it. We finished our little soccer player and she turned out awesome, except she's gonna look so much better once we do what? Color her. Color her, yeah. And we're also gonna add extra details to her jersey to make her look even more like a soccer player. Now this part, we are gonna fast forward, but at the end, if you wanna match the same coloring, you can pause the video. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Hadley, good job on coloring your soccer player. She turned out perfect. Did you have fun? Yeah. And I love that we changed our jerseys to make them look a little different. We also added stripes, we added numbers, and our art friends at home could match the same coloring that we did, or you guys could customize your jerseys any way you want. You could also change the skin tone to make her skin darker or even lighter. You could change the color of her hair. And I love that you added red and blue streaks in her hair. It's really cute. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your soccer player. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you have fun coloring your drawing also. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. This is my new favorite lesson. I give it five stars. That's 10. 10 stars. <laughs> Hey parents and teachers, join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.